Foucher, hello and welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. My name is Keith and this vlog is all about whiskey. How can you tell? Two little whiskies to sample for you today. We're doing a little whiskey tasting and I'm putting two sort of uh, mystery Isla single malts head to head for you and we'll see which one I prefer. I'll already tell you I prefer them both if that makes any sense because if you know me you'll know that I do like my Isla single malt whiskies. Now the two that I've got, these are two little samples that I got in a pack from the Master of Malt website and as well as buying full size bottles on there a lot of the options on the website allow you to order samples so I did a little variety pack, five different samples and these are two of them. Now it's two whiskies I've never tried before so we'll see what I make of them. I've got a couple of glasses obviously and uh, let's see what happens. So the first one what we do, this one here, this one is called Aerolite Lindsay. Aerolite Lindsay and it is an anagram of 10 year old Isla. Clever people. 10 year old, the character of Isla Whiskey Company, single malt, scotch whiskey and this one comes in at 46% now, 70% um, mature, matured in bourbon barrels, 25% matured in Spanish oak sherry, and at least 5% matured in mystery barrels. Now, I don't think I've actually heard that before, mystery barrels, but there you go. So, some other type of barrel. So, that's the, uh, the Aerolite Lindsay. Um, now this one as well, it uh, shares its name with my good lady wife and I bet you, not many of you, I've got a wife called Aerolite. <laughs> there we go. Now uh, this one over here is called, quite an evocative name this one, it's called Seaweed and Aeons and Digging and Fire. So four words, three ampersands. A lot of, uh, a lot of, um, what shall we say, advertising executives have been banging their heads together to come up with that. 10 year old, single malt, Scotch whiskey, and this one is 40%. So 40%, 46% for the Aerolite Lindsay. So we'll get them in the glass. We'll do a little head to head on the nose, head to head on the palate and the mouth, and then we'll add some water for you as well. I should say as well with the, the seaweed aeons digging in fire, that's almost tasted notes in the name. Both of these are undisclosed Isla distilleries so you never know where they come from. Um, but this one is um, matured in, it's, uh, what was it? it's bourbon cask but it's 25% uh, of the whiskey is matured in first fill, Oloroso, Sherry, octaves which are small casks and maybe about a third of the size or volume that they hold and it just allows a quicker maturation so they've both got a bit of a sherry influence i love smoky whiskies i love sherry whiskies i really really love sherry smoky smoky sherry whiskies so i have my trusty chib and we'll get fired straight in too The whiskies. So the Aerolite Lindsay. So as I say, this one is uh, forty-six percent. Interesting. A little bit malty. Certainly smoky. Certainly peaty. A relatively light colour. This one. Good start. Seaweed and aeons and digging in peat. A lot less malty, but certainly smoky. It's certainly, yeah, it's a bit sweeter, a bit more rounded, I would say, this one. They're both 30 cl, uh, sorry, 3 cl, 30 mils measures. You can see, quite substantial. 
Okay, okay, they both smell very nice. Promising start. So, where will we go first? Start off with the first one that poured the Aero Light Lindsay. Now, if you were buying full size bottles of these, uh, you're talking maybe about 35 40 pounds for the uh, Aerolite Lindsay and about 30 to 40 pounds. It's maybe a little bit cheaper. The Seaweed Aeons Digging and Fire. So we'll start off with the Aerolite Lindsay. So, as I say, a little bit malty, a little bit sort of oaty, sort of that barley cereal. Almost stuck it straight in there. That keen to get going. Quite clean, quite fresh. Certainly smoky, it's not too overpowering at all. Just a little bit sort of uh, that sort of iodine, that chemically as well, I would say you get in there. So seaweed aeons digging in peat, sort of digging in fire. See, it's a little bit fuller. There's more to that. You certainly get more of the sherry there. Still a little bit more smoke as well. On the nose, out of the two, this one takes an early lead. The seaweed aeons digging in fire. So, therefore, I'll pop it in my mouth first. We'll go for that. Real wall, burnt wood ash, that bonfire wood, very smoky, a bit of earthiness coming through afterwards, a little bit dry almost, quite tart, it's sort of, it, I feel it now at the back of my throat but it's left my mouth, so it's a real hit and then it sort of rolls away a little bit, but this could be really interesting with water. Yeah, a little bit sort of saltiness as well. That's most of that sort of burnt wood is what you get there. So just a little bit of the seaweed. What else was it again? Aeons, so what's that, a long period of time? A very long period of time. I wouldn't say it's hanging about for too long. Digging, a bit earthy and fire. It's got a bit of heat about it, yep, definitely. I see at the back of the throat. So, not bad. Maybe not as sweet as I was expecting off the nose. Yeah, this smells a lot more sort of honey oaty, straight away, a bit sweeter after this one. Yeah, you're going for a little bit more. It's nowhere near the wall of smoke on that one. And you're talking a bit more, there's still a little bit of smoke, a little bit of peat, but much gentler. I'd, I'd, I'd move a bit more towards Campbelltown with this. It's got almost, it's a bit more sort of maple syrup, maybe maple syrup and pancakes, that, so it's maybe, you don't get oaty pancakes, but that sort of dough, Cereal. Certainly quite vaporous. Fumey. I was expecting them to be a little bit closer. Um, that's a wee bit of a surprise. So yeah, it's a bit more, um, a bit cleaner. A lot less of the peat smoke. A lot dirtier. A lot fuller, more, much more smoky. I'll go back and give this one a try 
Oh wait now, no, I think what I'll do, I'm going to go for some water. I'm going to put a bit of, bit of water in them both. See where we go. Don't want to pollute my mouth too much with them both. Now I'm only going to put two drops of water in. Don't think they'll need much. There's a lot of strength in there. Don't want to release too much or dampen too much. Probably preferred this one in the mouth, but this intrigued me a little bit more, so we'll go back to this one first. So, a little bit of water. Still quite clean, there's a little bit of, almost a sort of, I don't want to say greasy, but a little bit oily-ish. Thick, gloopy, almost, if you can smell that. That brings up the smoke a little bit, but nowhere near offensive standards, or offensive levels, I should say. Still sweet, honey, a little bit of cereal, a little bit of that dough, a little bit of that maple, a little bit of caramel, but that sort of area. It's just lacking a little bit in proper depth, I would say. Area like Lindsay. It's gonna make a joke about the wife there, but better not. Smell again, it smells really full on the nose with the water. This is the, the seaweed aeons fire and digging again, digging and fire. Completely different, nowhere near the wall of burnt wood, nowhere near the much more of the sherry this time. Amazing how much difference water makes sometimes. It didn't make too much difference here, made a load of difference here. It could be that my mouth's just getting used to the, the burning earth, scorched earth. Yeah, again, mostly sweet. You've got sort of the red fruits, red apple, and that sort of area. Um, again, it's not got too much of a linger. It's a bit more of a linger than it had before. Hanging about a little bit more in my mouth, but it's leaving you quite early for its strength. That was a 46%, wasn't it? Oh, it's was 40% that one, so there you go. Now we just had that one a little bit stronger. It's got more depth, I would say, more fullness to it, a bit richer, probably just because of the sherry maturation, uh, the smaller casks. For them one last little chance each, but if I had to pick a favourite, there's one well in the lead. Yes, if you'd like to buy me a bottle of either the Airlight Lindsay, there's two bottles left in the shelf, the Airlight Lindsay or the Seaweed, I'm going to go for the, the Seaweed Aeons Digging and Fire. Just a little bit more to it, a little bit more interesting stuff going on. Um, both great examples of Isla. Um, nothing, certainly not going to be my favourite whiskies that I've ever tasted, but uh, I like my Isla whiskies. I like seeing what's going on. So head to head, certainly. This is the winner today. Now, if you haven't tried these, or maybe you have tried these, you want to try something similar, I always like to make some recommendations. So beforehand I was thinking, um, you may or may not have heard of a whiskey called Scarabus, which comes from the Ardna Ho, well it's, it's not the Ardna Ho distillery, it's the people who own Ardna Ho. They've released a whiskey called Scarabus, and it is, I would say, probably ahead of these two, but same ballpark, look out for it. Um, there's also a non-distillery branded whiskey called Iliach from, it's an Isla single malt, I-L-E-A-C-H, Iliach. If you're from Scotland, you're Scottish. If you're from Isla, you're Iliach. The Iliach are the, the people of Isla, so it's named after them. 
Uh, so check out the Scarabus, check out the Ilyich, and another one I've done a little review elsewhere um, from a, another branded uh, release, not a specific distillery release, another mystery undisclosed Isla distillery called Finlagen, and there's various Finlagen um, releases, port cast, grade wine cast, just standard releases as well. So check those out if you're looking for mystery Isla distillery whiskies. Seaweed, Aeons, Digging and Fire in the lead today, Aerolite, Lindsay, Quite Clever, or the other three that I mentioned. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Um, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, check out my other videos, leave comments, tell me what whiskies you like. Get in touch, it'd be good to hear from you. Thank you very much for listening, for watching, and enjoy your whiskey. Stand your Cheers.